ladies and gentlemen, this is Tim Down for Living with MS in Tenerife. I'm here on the balcony it's in the evening at around about, I don't know, six o'clock. And uh, the sun is going down nicely. I'm just uh, making a nice salad for tea. And uh, the wind's getting whipping up and it's right in my face. So we can eat outside, but uh, I'll have to make sure that the salad, uh, the green salad's hidden under the rest of the vegetable, the, the fruits and vegetables. So um, we're going to have a couple of potato, potatoey salady type things, and then what the Germans call raw kost, which is just raw vegetables and dips. And uh, we'll probably have a little bit of banana and a little bit of pear as well in the mix. Some tomatoes and some, uh, yeah, some other stuff. Oh, we'll see. No bread though, because the potatoes is enough carbohydrates for for one meal. And um, I just had a look online with the COVID. And basically, we're just over 5,000 in Tenerife, but uh, they're only reporting now on Tuesdays and Fridays. So it looks like they're, um, they're winding down here as well. Last Saturday, they suspended all measures apart from masks indoors. So you have to wear masks in public areas indoors, uh, like shops, uh, pharmacia, uh, when you go to the doctor. If you live in a, a house like we do with 20 apartments, you got to wear it in the hall and the lift. But apart from that, uh, mask free everywhere else. And um, uh, they've also stopped the insurance. So that means the free insurance, COVID insurance, in case you had to quarantine and overstay, stay longer than you, your holiday, then that would be paid for by the insurance that is has been suspended. So... They say suspended because it's easier to bring it all back into force with one law, just unsuspending the other laws. Um, so if anything goes uh, pear-shaped, then there will be uh, they'll easily get it back uh, to restrictions. So they've created five levels of dis restrictions, zero to four, and the restrictions will be published or have been published. I, I just can't find them at the moment. But, so there are no restrictions on at the moment so that, it, that I don't know where to look. So, but they've created five levels of alert and the levels are being driven not by the number of cases, which was, uh, which was the case before, but uh, how many people are being adversely affected. So numbers of hospital beds, numbers of intensive care station, patients because even though we have 5,000 active cases which is quite pretty high to say the truth um, according to what we used to have um, we're only got like eight people in in the hospital and three of them in intensive care in Tenerife I think it's 17 and eight in the whole of the Canary Islands so as they say it's uh, it's a lot um, tuberculosis is now a, a bigger killer so 21,000 people die of tuberculosis every year so, uh, and also uh, crossing the road, taking your life in your hands. So the weather's been really up and down over the past week. It's been colder than warmer. It's always warm in the sun. That's what I like to see. And in the nights, it does get a bit chilly. I haven't been sitting out as much as we do, but we do eat every meal outside unless it's really windy uh, and where things blow off the plate and then we've got to eat inside. But typically we, because of the, it never drops below, I'd say 19 uh, just after the sun goes down, probably get down to about 17 uh, in the night, but I'm tucked up in the middle bed by then. So uh, that was just a quick update of COVID. And uh, Janet's been active again, um, doing stuff. And uh, I recommend going over to see uh, Janet's website. She's got a few articles about the return of the Cory Shearwater, what we call the Wacker Wacker birds. So they're coming back. So summer's on its way. And, um, yeah, so she's got a couple of interesting articles there. So go and give Jenna Anscombe some love, jennaanscombe.com. Also, she is together with Cleo on Mondays with the Canary Cast. And you can go to anchor.fm and look up Canary Cast, or probably better up looking up Cleo O'Flynn and uh, take that a listen. So I'm going to invite Cleo up for a glass of wine sometime in the next couple of weeks and interview her. So we might even do that live. Um, if nobody comes to meet up Monday next week, I'll ask if she's free. Um, what else? Well, uh, 
Meet Up Mondays has been pretty quiet the last two weeks, and I've also been meeting people outside of Meet Up Monday, which I said I wouldn't do. But um, if there's enough get together, and I can I can con Christina to come out and have an ice cream, then we might even do that. So that might change. Freaky Friday's getting quite good now. Um, I might even have a couple of interviewees lined up, so that'd be pretty good. I'm going to see if I can get Kevin on. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's this Friday or not, because this Friday I'm doing a cook-in with Sub and his brother Danny, and um, um, we're going to make chicken tikka masala over at Park Santiago 3. So I don't know whether I'm going to do the cooking live. I'll film it all, um, but we'll probably just go live for Freaky Friday as we're scoffing it. Although I'm not going to scoff it because I've got to bring some home for Christina Lee. That's just pretty cool. And uh, so that'll be this Friday. Uh, Laurie McGillivray's on tomorrow with uh, with us. Stories that m uh, with meaning, I think it is. And um, so that'll be interesting. If you want to come, we've got, a, we've got a, a nice guest there tomorrow with uh, Ian, of course, and uh, Juliani Nendel, who um, has her own channel. And uh, go over and give her some love as well. And uh, we're actually going to be doing, I think it's, the first of the first balcony banter of the month we're actually going to host it on her channel so i'll do a quick live beforehand and youtube allows me now to redirect you over to her channel so you don't even have to press a button it automatically just carries on on her channel and that will get her viewing hours up and if you're not subscribed consider subscribing to her so it doesn't cost you anything and once she gets over a thousand subscribers then she can start going uh, live on her own as well with a mobile that would be nice for her and uh, obviously if you need any of the services she offers then go and visit her website it's being rebuilt at the moment it's still available but it's being rebuilt at the moment but the easiest thing to do is find out what she offers as services and it might be different than what you think. And um, and then press the button to just contact her. She's very uh, approachable, obviously, and you know her like yeah, like a neighbor, really. So go over there and give her some love. Um, we got uh, Rick and Shelley did a great vlog uh, that I watched this morning. I think it was the weekend, actually, where um, they were doing a charity show. But the editing in it was fantastic. It was very much like the Casey Neistat um, type of editing where... Um, he cuts it all together and it just feels natural, you know? So I know that it looks like effortless, but it takes a lot of work to uh, to edit, uh, to film, first of all, to plan, film, and edit that type of vlog. So well done there to uh, that Tenry vlogcast, which is now, of course, Rick and Shelley's channel. Or was it Shelley and Rick? I can't remember. One of the two. Reverse it. You know where that comes from? Which film? Let me know in the comments. Uh, the Macmaster, I've talked with uh, Lee, and uh, he's, I think he's back from the States now, and uh, he's been up and around the UK. He did say to me he would come one one of my lives. He's probably not going to come over to Tenerife in the near future, and um, he may even be done with it. I don't know. So uh, we'll get him on and uh, for a quick chat, maybe on a balcony banter, maybe on a Freaky Friday, or maybe on one of the meet-up Mondays where he could join me, join me uh, um sort of virtual. So if you want to try it out and you don't want to be live, but you want to try out coming on to the show and just saying hello or telling a story um, or even a joke, then you can do that by going to timothydown.com slash live and that'll tell you all about it. And when you press the button, it joins the running show. Now, obviously, if the show is not running, then you just go into a room with nobody watching. But if you ping me either by email well, best, best by email, in fact, me at timothydowd.com and say, look, I'll be in the room um, when's the best time. We'll organize a time for like a 15-minute or a 20-minute block of time where we'll go in and test out your microphone. We'll test out your earphones. We'll test out uh, if the, you know, the background is okay. And I give you tips and tricks on how to look good. Like always have the camera above your face. So you've got a night. You don't have the double chin. And also, you're, you're better off uh, having like the background lower than you at the back so you don't have windows and lights in the thing as well. So that'd be pretty cool. And for microphones and earphones, you can even use your the ones you get with your phone. And you can use anything. You can use a browser. So if you've got a, a computer or a notebook, you can use a tablet. You can use a phone. Uh, you can use anything to get in. All you need is a browser. Typically, if it's on an iOS device, they make you use Safari.
but on all other devices, the best browser to use then is Chrome. Uh, if you don't like Chrome, other browsers do work, but Chrome is the, is the one that is actually um, designed to work with the System Switcher Studio. So uh, what else do I got to tell you? Christina's loves staying home. She's a bit of a home bird at the moment. She doesn't really like going out. I got to drag her out. And uh, she loves the balcony banter one where she can come on and chit chat with the Giuliani and the rest of the gang. Um, the other vlog, she's sort of saying it's a lot of work and she tires very quickly these days. So if you don't see her, it's not because she doesn't like you. It's, uh, it, she's just really limiting herself of what she does. Uh, she's a very good manager though. She made me take out the trash this morning, do all the recycling, take the curtains down and wash them and wash two other lots of, uh, t-shirts and towels. So, uh, I've been doing very well. So I'm taking this five minutes out now just to talk to you and give you a nice view of the, uh, the sunset there. And, uh, we'll see you on the next one. I'm going to put this up in about half an hour after I've cut it and graded it and, uh, made sure everything's okay, put all the titles in and, um, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. <laughs>